Hello, I'm Marcel Lord. Welcome to the HTS ePool. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. But first, a word from our sponsor, Flo. St. Lucia, we've got great news for you. Flo's home internet just got better. Now with faster internet speeds, you can surf, binge, play and stream non-stop on St. Lucia's most reliable network. The best part is the speed increase is on us. So enjoy more of what you love with speeds to keep you connected and entertained. Visit discoverflow.co today. With Flow, it only gets better. Welcome back. On Monday, a woman was the victim of a hit-and-run accident involving a motorcycle in Castries, the second such incident in the space of two weeks. There has been an apparent increase in the number of serious accidents involving motorcycles. Some of these motorcyclists have no license or insurance. So we asked you. Should there be a nationwide crackdown on motorcyclists riding without a license and registration? We tallied the numbers on our online voting platforms, and here is how you voted. 98% of you said yes, and 2% said no. We also took to the streets to get your opinion, and here's what you had to say. Yes, I think there should be, because lots of accidents and lots of deaths of young people are happening right now, especially in St. Lucia, there really should be. Well, I know a good friends of mine that have motorcyclists, so if they see me and they say I rat them out, I'm sorry, but yes, they should crack down on that, because I mean, yes, the youth want to ride, but they have to ride legally, and they have to ride carefully, and you know, some people for them riding is an art, like it's a lifestyle. That's why they created the 758 bike life. So you all, you all want to ride, you all see the people riding, ride safe, ride legally. Well, I believe um, it's a law, so no cyclist is not supposed to be on the road without a license and registration. And even the helmet, which is in the books of the law, I think police should really concentrate on that part that um, both cyclists, cyclists not supposed to ride without a, without a helmet. Yes, they do. And if they, they have to enforce the law, and if they break the law, they should have a capital punishment for them so that they could send strong messages out there for those who, who will think of doing the same thing. Yeah, there should be a crackdown on motor motorcycles riding without license and registration, just as there is a crackdown on other forms of crime in St. Lucia, because it's the whole aspect of the breakdown of law and order in St. Lucia that is causing the motorcyclists to find themselves on the road without license and insurance and causing carnage on the road. They're losing their lives and they are causing the loss of life of other people on the road also. And we also have to take in consideration other motorists and the way they drive too because sometimes motorcycles may, motorcyclists may not be the main cause of the accidents they find themselves in. Sometimes two cars are overtaking or something and then that leads to an accident. But in general, there's an increase in the accidents in um, the motorcyclists involved in accidents and I believe they have a part to play in these accidents and there should be a crackdown on them. Yeah well right now when you have to really look at for the past five years I'll say five years it has been an increasing number of motorcycle accidents which have led to death of many young people so I think they have to be looking into this very seriously. Yeah, it's a vehicle to take you a point there and there, but the recklessness and whatever it is, we have to look into that. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. St. Lucia's Commissioner of Police, Severin Loncheri, and the Minister for Home Affairs and National Security, Senator Herman Guild Francis, have both called for tougher sentences for persons found guilty of gun-related offenses. The public has also bemoaned what many consider to be lenient sentences, and bail requirements for firearm offenses. So we ask, should the government issue tougher sentencing guidelines for persons convicted of gun-related offenses? Voting is easy. Just log on to hdsanusha.org or Facebook at HDSANUSHA Official and vote. You can also send your response via text or WhatsApp to 584-4HDS. That's 584-4487. For Flow Handset owners, here's a reminder of your special voting platform. From your Flow Handset, text your evil response to 487. Press 1 to vote yes, 2 for no, 3 for no comment, and 4 for I don't know. 
Join the discussion from your Flow device and get the opportunity to win weekly prizes. And our APOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HDS News Force from 7pm for the results and a new discussion.